Jake Paul. You know the name. Whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying that he's made a significant impact on the world of entertainment and sports. From his early days on Vine to his current status as a professional boxer, Jake Paul has always found a way to stay in the spotlight. You've probably seen him in the boxing ring. His transition from a social media star to a professional athlete has been nothing short of remarkable. With each fight, he continues to prove his doubters wrong and solidify his place in the boxing world. His dedication to training and his relentless pursuit of victory have earned him respect from even the most skeptical critics. Maybe you follow him on social media. With millions of followers across various platforms, Jake Paul knows how to keep his audience engaged. Whether he's sharing behind-the-scenes footage of his training sessions, posting motivational messages, or simply goofing around with his friends, his content is always entertaining and often controversial. Jake Paul isn't afraid of a little controversy. In fact, he seems to thrive on it. From his public feuds with other celebrities to his bold statements on social issues, Jake Paul knows how to stir the pot and keep people talking. His willingness to speak his mind, no matter the consequences, has made him a polarizing figure. He's known for speaking his mind and making headlines. Whether it's calling out his next opponent or addressing his critics, Jake Paul always has something to say. His confidence and charisma make him a natural in front of the camera, and his ability to generate buzz is unmatched. It's no surprise that someone as bold as Jake Paul has a few nicknames. Over the years, he's been called many things, both good and bad. But there are a few nicknames that have stuck with him and become a part of his persona. The Problem Child is a popular one. This nickname perfectly encapsulates Jake Paul's rebellious nature and his tendency to cause trouble. It's a name that he's embraced and even used to market himself. Whether he's in the ring or on social media, the problem child is always ready to shake things up. It fits his mischievous personality. Jake Paul has always been a bit of a troublemaker, and he seems to enjoy pushing people's buttons. His antics, whether they're pranks or public stunts, often leave people divided. Some find him entertaining, while others see him as a nuisance. But one thing is for sure, he knows how to get a reaction. He's definitely not afraid to stir up trouble. From his early days on YouTube, where he gained fame for his outrageous pranks and challenges, to his current status as a professional boxer, Jake Paul has always been a master of controversy. His fearless attitude and willingness to take risks have made him a standout figure in the world of entertainment. But there's another nickname that's caught everyone's attention, El Gallo. Some people love it, some people hate it. This nickname, which means the rooster in Spanish, has a certain flair to it. It's a nod to his fighting spirit and his ability to strut his stuff with confidence. Just like a rooster, Jake Paul is loud, proud, and always ready for a fight. But one thing is for sure, it's gotten people talking. Whether you call him the problem child or El Gallo, Jake Paul is a name that everyone knows. His ability to reinvent himself and stay relevant in an ever-changing landscape is a testament to his talent and determination. Love him or hate him, Jake Paul is here to stay, and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. El Gallo. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's short, it's catchy, and it has a certain ring to it. You might be wondering, why El Gallo? It's not your typical nickname. It's not related to his boxing style or his personality, at least not directly. To understand this nickname, we need to dig a little deeper. We need to look at Jake Paul's connection to Puerto Rico. El Gallo is Spanish for the rooster. Yes, you read that right. The rooster, that proud strutting bird known for its crowing and its fighting spirit. The rooster is a powerful symbol in many cultures. It represents courage, strength, and a willingness to fight for what you believe in. But why would Jake Paul choose a Spanish nickname? And what does a rooster have to do with boxing? Jake Paul has a strong connection to Puerto Rico. He moved to the island in 2021. He even bought a luxurious mansion there. Puerto Rico is known for its vibrant culture, beautiful beaches, and passionate people. It's a place where Jake feels at home. He's embraced the island and its people, and they've embraced him back. He's often seen training and spending time with locals. Jake Paul's Puerto Rican mansion is nothing short of spectacular. Nestled in the lush tropical landscape of Puerto Rico, this mansion stands as a testament to opulence and grandeur. 
The aerial view alone is enough to take your breath away, showcasing the sprawling estate surrounded by vibrant greenery and the serene beauty of the island. It's a sprawling estate with everything a celebrity could want. From the moment you step onto the grounds, you're greeted with an air of exclusivity and luxury. The expansive grounds are meticulously maintained, offering a perfect blend of natural beauty and man-made elegance. It's clear that no expense was spared in creating this paradise. He even calls it El Gallo Dorado, which means the golden rooster in Spanish. This name isn't just a whimsical choice. It reflects Jake Paul's larger-than-life persona and his rise to fame and fortune. The golden rooster symbolizes not only his success, but also his bold and flamboyant style. It's a fitting name for a house that screams luxury and success. The exterior of the mansion is a marvel in itself. With its grand architecture and intricate design details, every corner of the house exudes a sense of achievement and prosperity, making it a true symbol of Jake Paul's journey and accomplishments. The mansion has a private gym, a swimming pool and so much more. The private gym is equipped with state-of-the-art fitness equipment, allowing Jake to maintain his rigorous training regimen without ever leaving the comfort of his home. The swimming pool is an oasis of relaxation, perfect for unwinding after a long day or hosting lavish poolside parties, and breathtaking views of the ocean. The mansion's location offers unparalleled views of the sparkling ocean, providing a constant reminder of the natural beauty that surrounds this luxurious abode. Whether it's watching the sunrise over the water or enjoying a quiet evening with the sound of the waves, the ocean views add an extra layer of tranquility and splendor to the property. It's the perfect place for Jake to train, relax, and soak up the Puerto Rican sun. The mansion's amenities cater to every aspect of his lifestyle, from intense training sessions by the pool to leisurely afternoons spent basking in the sun. It's a sanctuary where he can focus on his career, recharge his energy, and enjoy the fruits of his labor. In every sense, this mansion is a reflection of Jake Paul's success and his unrelenting drive to live life to the fullest. I chose the nickname El Gallo because I really identify with the rooster's fighting spirit. I see myself as a fighter, both in and out of the ring. Plus, I love the connection to Puerto Rico. It represents my love for the island and its people. Some people think it's an odd choice, but Jake Paul has never been one to follow the crowd. He's a trendsetter. He does things his own way. Jake Paul is more than just a boxer. He's a savvy businessman. Over the years, Jake has managed to carve out a unique niche for himself, not just in the world of sports, but also in the business arena. His journey from a YouTube sensation to a professional boxer has been nothing short of remarkable. But what truly sets him apart is his entrepreneurial spirit. He's involved in various ventures, from promoting fights to launching his own brands. Jake has always been a master of self-promotion, and he has leveraged this skill to build a diverse portfolio of business interests. Whether it's through his promotional company, most valuable promotions, or his various endorsements and partnerships, Jake has shown that he understands the importance of branding and marketing. He's even used the El Gallo nickname to his advantage. The nickname, which means the rooster in Spanish, has become synonymous with Jake's fighting spirit and tenacity. But Jake didn't stop at just using the nickname, he turned it into a brand. By incorporating the rooster logo into his merchandise, Jake has created a strong visual identity that resonates with his fans. He's released merchandise featuring the rooster logo. From t-shirts and hoodies to hats and accessories, the El Gallo brand has become a staple in Jake's business empire. The merchandise not only serves as a source of revenue, but also helps to strengthen Jake's connection with his fan base. Each piece of El Gallo merchandise is a symbol of Jake's journey and his relentless pursuit of success. It's clear that El Gallo is more than just a nickname for Jake Paul. It's a brand, it's a statement. The El Gallo brand represents Jake's fighting spirit, his entrepreneurial drive, and his ability to turn challenges into opportunities. By embracing the El Gallo persona, Jake has created a powerful narrative that resonates with his audience and sets him apart from other athletes and entrepreneurs. It's a way for him to connect with his fans and build his empire. Jake understands the importance of fan engagement, and he has made it a priority to interact with his supporters through various channels. Whether it's through social media, fan meet and greets, or exclusive events, Jake ensures that his fans feel valued and appreciated. This connection is a key component of his business strategy, as it helps to build loyalty and drive sales.